welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another Fairy Loot unboxing. This, whoop, it's upside down. <laughs> this is the April box, I believe. So I've got my handy dandy little knife here to open it up. And I'm just going to talk quickly about the subscription service with you guys. So Fairy Loot is a monthly UK-based bookish subscription box. Every month comes with a new exclusive additioned release along with a couple other bookish items. So I will have all the details on the website linked down below. They do have fulfillment centers in the US, so shipping is cheaper. But this is what the inside of this month's box looks like. And this is our stunning spoiler art card. And I believe this theme was memories. So that, whoa, the attention, I'm gonna try and zoom in and show you guys. So I don't know if you can see like the attention to detail. There's like, I don't know, it's just really, really, there's like a little woman with an umbrella there. Super duper beautiful, so. I don't know, I really, really enjoy this art. And you could like essentially like hang these up and use them as art prints if you wanted. And this is definitely one I would hang on my wall. So, and this is all the information on the back of it. Okay, so we're just gonna get right into it. The first thing I see is this little cloth. So this looks to be like a giant cloth tote bag. And it says the Court of Terrazin, which is from A Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. The Throne of Glass, and it says, so they can look up at the sky no matter where they are and no Terrazin is forever with them, Sarah J Maas. And this is so beautiful. I really like the art on this. And I think it's just like a canvas tote bag, which I have been wanting a canvas tote bag for so long because I do live in a beach town. So we are a little bit more um, conscientious, uh, conscientious of the plastic being used. So it's like all paper straws and you do get charged for plastic bags. We do paper. So if you bring like a reusable tote, they don't charge like the extra couple cents for a bag. And I've really been wanting a nice one. And this is so super beautiful. And I would definitely use this for like grocery shopping or bring it with me. This would be a really good beach bag too. So this is a Terrazin tote bag and it says the importance of memories in Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas meant that we had to include an item inspired by this series. We are in love with this Terrazin tote bag featuring a, t a stunning two-sided design by the talented Fantastical Feminism. I love that name. Uh, we hope you love it too. I do. I really do. So we're off on a great start for the first item in this month's box. And then it looks like we have a bunch of little like one-off thingies. So let me see. This looks like little washi tape. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in again and I hope you guys can see the washi tape design. I hope that's in focus. That is so beautiful. It's really, really like sticky too on like the sides and stuff. So I don't want to keep touching it. But that is so beautiful. So there's like uh, feathers and eye and like what looks to be a paintbrush. So it says journaling is an essential practice for recording and expressing memories. We hope that this exclusive daughter of smoke and bone washi tape will add a bookish twist to your journal spreads. It is inspired by a fantastic, se fantastic series by Lainey Taylor. And it is designed by Till and Dill. I really, really like this. I have not yet read Daughter of Smoke and Bone. It is on my TBR. It will happen eventually. So that was the next thing. I really like this and I don't have a lot of washi tape um, in my bullet journal at all. So then these are emoji sticky tabs. So there's like, I have my light above there. So it's kind of blocking it out, but there's like the little hard eyes, a crying face, a winky face, a kind of like mm, face, a heart, and then a little pile of shit. 
That's so funny. So it says, there's nothing worse than losing a quote or a scene which you wanted to discuss with your bookish friends with these emoji sticky tabs brought to you by Team Fairy Loot. You can tab away and easily keep track of all your favorite pages. I love that. So like, if you have a scene you really, really love, if there's a scene that made you cry, and then if there's a scene that absolutely sucked. I really like that, that's so funny. Okay, and then this is the other little last package we had kind of on the top. And it is a pin. This is so beautiful. So this is a memory vial pin designed by that. That's lovely deer shop. But it is an, it's an enamel pin, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I really, really like this. So the only thing is I have another pin that came in another box and I don't have a place to put them, which I kind of feel bad at, but Hopefully I'll get a place to put this at some time. And so this says, sometimes we all wish we had a personal pensive, don't we? I don't know if I said that right. We asked the Ministry of Magic if we could send these to you, but they seem to be all out. However, we did get this ama ex amazing exclusive memory vial pin designed by the wonderful That's Lovely Deer Shop. If you guys didn't know, I am reading Harry Potter for the first time, and I'm like almost 20, so that's kind of really sad that I made it this far and not had that amazing piece of literature to guide my childhood. But anyways, so that kind of looks it besides the book. Oh wait, there's more stuff. Okay, sorry. It's kind of like hard to see because I was like looking at top, so it just looks like we have the book left. Or not the book, the secret book because they announced that was a spoiler item oh my gosh so we have the continuation of the throne of glass tarot cards we have manon and dorian i can't remember who we got i think we got uh kale and irene and then uh alessandra and adian in the last cards so now we have six of cup who is manon and five of cups which is dorian which they are such a great couple. Let's talk about it. Okay, so there seems to be, we'll do the secret book because I'm so excited about this. And then we can do, it looks like we've got something else and then the actual like fairy loot book pouch. So this is the secret book volume three. And if you guys did subscribe since last month um, and you, this is your first box you're getting, I believe if I'm correct, they announced that the secret book volume one and two will be able to be bought um, in their shop so that you have the matching editions, which I thought that was very nice. So I don't know what this one is inspired by, but I really like that box too. Okay, oh my gosh, this is stunning. So it's like yellow and purple. And it says volume three on it. And then on the inside, there's a little silica pouch, which we're gonna wanna throw away because that won't be good if Rocco gets a hold of it. And this is like a collection of different peoples. Um, this was designed by Navra and Tail. I hope I believe. Yes, they did say the other two will be available in the fairy troves in the coming months. So this one is dedicated to the sweetest memories. So make sure to fill it with notes and letters of things you want to remember. I love that. So on the inside, it kind of looks a little bit like that. I don't know if you guys can see. And it says, never forget what you are for surely the world will not make it your strength and then it can never be your weakness. Armor yourself in it and it will never be used to hurt you. George R.R. R. Martin, A Game of Thrones. Memory is not what the heart desires. That is only a mirror. J.R.R. Tolkien, The Lord of the Rings. Books are easily destroyed, but words will live as long as people can remember them. Unravel Me by Tahar Mafi. And then we have, remember that you are a wolf and you cannot be caged. Sarah J. Mass, A Court of Wings and Ruin. Memory is a traitor and a liar and a good-for-nothing thief, J. Kristoff, God's grave. And then we have We're Fickle Stupid Beings with Poor Memories and a Great Gift for Self-Destruction, Suzanne Collins, Mockingjay. I love this and I think I mentioned it in the last one because the, because the spoiler card said that this would be coming in it and I said how perfect I could put my tarot cards in there. So the next thing is some cloth. And what else is left? Are you kidding me? It's a pin banner. That's so funny. I literally just said that. Okay, this is beautiful. And I really like how simple it is. It's not like anything super flashy or like it doesn't have a lot of print on it, which I kind of enjoy because I feel like with a pin banner, 
you would kind of want it to be more simple so that the pins are the center of the show you know and i absolutely love this i'll have to go do that because like not right now but that is great so this is says we love sending out bookish pins and we also want to make sure you always have a place to showcase your collection this exclusive saint germain pin banner is inspired by the beautiful by renee audier uh, which was featured in their October 2019 box and it is designed by the lovely Dust and Pages. So it's kind of like crump, not crumpled, but like all rolled up. So honestly, take this, lay some textbooks on it and it will be flat in no time. So, and that is it. We just have the book sleeve, like little fairy loot jacket. Now, I am 99.9% .9 sure I know what this book is, and that is because I read the, um, like, spoiler blog post announcement, and I am pretty sure I know what it is, because if you did see my most anticipated books of 2020, then you would have seen that this is one of my most anticipated books, so I'm pretty sure I remember the theme and everything. So, we've got our matching bookmark um, print-to-scale business, which I love these, and it just says April April 2020 memories on the bottom of it. So that is absolutely beautiful, and I love that, and I love using bookmarks. We have a character print for the book, as long with a dear reader letter from the author. And then we've got our fairy scoop with the theme for next month, which is Desert Dreams. Now, I'm pretty sure, like I said, I already know what this is. So I do want, I think it's this way. I want you guys to see it first. Okay, so I feel like this is completely getting washed out, but it is Incendiary by Azurita Cordova. And I was so excited about this release. And when I read the fairy loot, like a blog post for it, I did not buy it because we made that mistake with Bone Carter's Moon and now I have two copies of it, which um, I think I am going to um, save and put together like maybe for a giveaway or something coming up soon, who knows? Um, so I'm so excited and oh my gosh, we have a red sprayed edges. This is obviously the exclusive dust jacket, I wonder if they put the original, cause I've seen the original, it's like a girl floating and I wonder if they did. Oh wow, Never mind. I don't know what edition that is then. So if you guys can see, there you go. So that is the fairy, or that's the original and this is the fairy loot exclusive edition. The standard edition just has a standard red cover and the fairy loot edition has the exclusive dark blue cover, artwork on the reverse of the, reverse of the dust jacket, sprayed edges, and it's signed by the author. And the incendiary read along will be hosted by Amy this month. But, okay, first of all, there's our signature. And then, this is absolutely, first of all, the book is blue underneath the dust jacket. I'm trying to be careful. Are you kidding me? That is so stunning. And so essentially, if you do not know what um, Incendiary is about, it is like Spanish Inquisition era inspired Spain. And we follow a Renata Convita who, but it says, Renata was only a child when she was kidnapped by the crown. As a memory thief, the rarest and most feared of the magical Mariah, she was used to carry out the king's wrath, a siege that resulted in the death of thousands of her own people. Now Renata is one of the Whispers, a rebel spy working against the crown. When Des, her commander, and the boy she's grown to love is taken captive by the notorious Principe Dorado, Renata must return to the palace and complete his top secret mission herself. Can she keep cover even as she burns her vengeance against the brutal enigmatic prince? Her life and the fate of the Mariah depend on it. But returning to the palace stirs memories locked, long locked away as Renata grows more deeply embedded in the royal court. She uncovers a secret that could change the fate of the entire kingdom and end the war that has cost her everything. I filmed my June TBR video the other day. <laughs> this might just take the cake for the mood pick because, oh my gosh, this is so, so, so beautiful. And I think I'll kind of talk for you guys talk with you guys about this for a second but basically the one thing that I really want to just drive home about fairy loot is not only are these items so quality across the board and this is not 
I'm not a rep or anything for Fairy Loot. The Fairy Loot is just such a genuinely awesome brand and subscription service, and they give such quality items inspired by some of your favorite series and created by these amazingly talented artists and illustrators. And if we're setting aside all of the other amazing items that really just jack up the value of the subscription box, this is stunning and their exclusive editions of their books that are new releases will always and forever amaze me because I just I just don't know and obviously if you're not a lover of books or collector of books um it might not seem worth it to you but this is artwork and I just absolutely adore fairy loot the company as a whole what they do what you get for what you pay for um i feel like i've been feeling enough but i was just so excited this was one of my most anticipated books to be released in the year and i just am absolutely speechless i'm so excited and the back says i am renata convita i have lived a hundred stolen lives now it's my time to live my own so that was the final item in this month's april fairy loot box i hope that you guys enjoyed it again i will have fairy loot linked in the description down below so that if you guys want to subscribe you can it's an amazing subscription service and like i said these are such quality quality items that you know first of all deck out your bookshelf to the max You've got some items that you can use in everyday, like journaling stuff. Stuff that, like I said, you can use in your everyday life. You can take this to the grocery store, the beach, whatever you want to use a tote bag for. And it's beautiful. So that is it for this unboxing and this video. So I hope you guys are all having a good day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.